I'm really replacing today all of my equipment. Where's the Christmas music? I turned it off. Between us, I don't really care that much about Christmas. Just another day where I can't work. And after two weeks in Sri Lanka vacation, which was really great and nice, there's a lot of work I have to catch up. And the next week is like Christmas, New Year's Eve, and like all the shenanigans, so even less time to work. So three weeks of work, business stuff, all just today. Also today I'm replacing almost all of my equipment because I'm just sick of it. Some things are just not working the way they're supposed to work. So I ordered a bunch of new stuff on my way to pick it up. Müssen zwei sein, mindestens. First bummer, the stuff that I ordered didn't arrive. I don't know why, I mean it's Christmas madness, but I ordered it like a week ago to be really safe and sure. She said there is nothing there, so I will now just try and buy it off the store because I need it today. So, this first package is way too important to not open it immediately. Like really, it's something that is just driving me nuts for the past week, at least a week. A new camera, because the one I'm filming with, like the, the internal audio port broke on vacations. And this is now camera number nine, which is like a lot, like all of my YouTube money goes into new cameras. And this one right there, it's the sixth time the mic input is broke. I repaired it already five times or got replacements. I'm sick of it. It's just not reliable. It's a super nice camera and like the quality is good and the autofocus and I, I like almost everything about it, except for not having a flip screen and the port being like broke constantly. It's so annoying. Like audio is the most important to me. That's why I drove through the city to get this. I'm not sure if I will keep it because it's not as professional, but like the audio when it comes to video is more important than the picture quality. So let's switch to this one in three, two, so this didn't work at all because the new camera just didn't have any charge on the battery. I hate companies that don't charge the batteries at least a tiny bit. You go to the store, you buy something new, spend a lot of money, you're super excited, you unbox it, and then it just doesn't work, which just like really sucks. But I waited a little, it's now fully charged. Old camera, new camera. I like actually the colors on the new a little better but the old one is a little less noisy, so I'm not really sure which one to pick, but the new one is like half the price, so definitely an argument. Let me know which one you prefer. Old, new, old, new. I really don't know where my big knife is, so for now, this has to do it, although, Okay, maybe, just maybe, <laughs> this is a stupid idea. This is, by the way, the saw that we used to cut the hole through the control room and the vocal booth. That one right there. It just took a couple of days, but um, yeah. Anyways, let's, let's continue with unboxing because there's cool stuff in there. First up, we got in here the MoCo, the monitor controller, a passive monitor controller. That's the exactly same one that I'm using upstairs in the A Studio or the former A Studio. I still don't know what that room actually is at the moment, but there are big speakers that are a lot of fun. But yeah, this right here is part of the Remix contest prize. The first winner will get this. But that's not all. Let's, let's actually continue. This one is, is the big prize. That's a 24-bit audio interface with 10 preamps, eight outs. All of them can be used at the same time so 
if you want to record 10 microphones at the same time, that's that's definitely something you should look into. I wish I could keep it, but this is for the winner. The winner gets a lot of stuff. That's not all. The winner also gets the Gigaport HD 24-bit high quality audio interface. It's very small, mobile, like perfect for maybe recording your DJ set or just like firing up your speakers. Speaking of speakers, since we have a lot of stuff for the first place, I thought it's kind of fun. The worst one also gets a price. These right here. These are the worst speakers that I know. They're just 10 bucks. So if you make the most horrible song, ah, you know what? I don't know if this is a good idea because this will encourage a lot of people to send me a lot of songs that are really bad and I have to listen to all of them. Let's keep this remix contest serious. So these speakers are not part of the prize. There is no worst winner. That's a really stupid idea. We should do a worst track submit soon again, where you guys make purposefully something bad and I listen to it, which is always fun. But this remix contest is for my song Secrets that has now 120K place on Spotify within one and a half months, went up to the Beatport charts, I love the vocal, I love the pluggy synth, it's my favorite track that I've ever made and I also think my best so far. So if you're interested to participate, it will be linked down below in the description, all of the equipment, all of the prizes, all of the parts that you can actually download and start working on the song. And also if you're interested, there's of course still my sample pack with a lot of stuff that you can actually use for the remix contest to just have like a starting point, kicks, guitars, and drum loops, like everything a sample pack has, but everything made by me here in the studio, all of the stuff that I actually use for my productions. So if you're interested, check it out. I really can't wait for the first submissions and now back to music making and business stuff. Like, obviously, this entire day is mostly business stuff. So that's the new camera. Nice. I you wanna, like it. You want to hold it? Oh, it's very light. Yeah, it's very light compared to the old one, but I have to say I reviewed the footage already. It sucks. Yeah, maybe we need light. As it's... Yeah, it's really bad in low light. Like, you see, it can't even focus. Yeah, like, but it's... there's always a solution. But that's not a solution. If I go to a club, I can't turn on the light just because when I'm filming. When are you filming. going to clubs? Sometimes. Sometimes. It's been a while, but yeah, I still want to have that off. <laughs> Anyways, let's let's um, eat something and celebrate. Yes, Hanukkah, day two. There is one more thing. I'm really replacing today all of my equipment. Some of it intentionally, some unintentionally. This right here is the MacBook 16 inch, the brand new one, fully specced out except for the hard drive, two terabytes of hard drive, really expensive kind of thing. It's now two in the morning and I'm, I'm trying to get it to run properly again. I went today, I didn't share it, I went really quick to the Apple store because this one has one issue and they said they'll fix it in an hour or two. They first of all didn't fix it, they wiped the entire computer, all of my data was deleted. I luckily have a backup that is just like one day old because I already know these guys. If I wouldn't have like a backup, I would be so mad. Like this video would have been like the, the most angry John Sign video ever. But yeah, they wiped it and now I'm trying to like put the data back onto the machine and it just doesn't work. It, it like opens up. And there's just like this, um, please select the Wi-Fi recovery kind of mode. And then like after 15 minutes, it stops. And then there's like an error message. I don't know, like this is a big, big bummer. So right now in the background, I'm already like setting up my previous machine. I thought this is the perfect one but it's it's apparently not. But I think this deserves its entire full video, like the flaws of the 16 inch MacBook, the new one after using it for one month or so. Tune in tomorrow.